T minus two minutes. SSC, FTS bat one and two heaters off. Off. Prop one, pressurized vehicle ox tank. Pressurizing. FAC, establish pulse suppression water on. Roger. T minus 95 seconds. T minus 90 seconds. SSC, hydraulic external power on. External. HYE, check hydraulic pressure go. Go. T minus 80 seconds. Topping to 100%. Rock report range go for launch. Range go. T minus 70 seconds. SSC, hydraulics internal. Internal. T minus one minute and counting. LC, T minus 60 second limits on. On. Water flow. T minus 45. LC, launch enable to flight. 100% lock. Flight. ATC3, main power disable on. It's on. T minus 35. Hydraulics are go. T minus, T minus 30. 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. Green board. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. Main engine start. One, zero, and lift off of the Delta II with the NPP satellite, blazing the way. A new technology for climate research and weather forecasting. Chamber pressure in the main engine. Good chamber pressure in the three corrections, the two diverniers, and good chamber pressure in all six ground lit motors. Passing 24 seconds into the flight. Pressure beginning to trail off a little on the uh, ground lit solids as expected. Coming up on the 33 second mark. Mark 33 seconds of Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Passing 40 seconds in. Good stable chamber pressure in the main engine, the verniers, and the ground solids. Coming up 48 seconds. Mark 48 seconds. Max Q. Maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. Ten seconds now remaining until burnout of the six ground lift motors as we're passing the one minute mark. Burnout, the six ground lift motors, and we have ignition on the three air lift motors. Good ignition on the three motors, good chamber pressure, good symmetrical burn. Standing by for separation of the ground lift solids about ten seconds from now to assure a good water impact point. Passing one minute, twenty seconds, standing by for ground solid jettison. Jettison. Six motors have jettisoned, passing one minute, 36 seconds in. Pressure now beginning to trail off on the airlet motors. Acting the one minute and 45 second mark. Altitude now 17.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 2.4 nautical miles, velocity 2,587 miles per hour. Coming up one minute, 55 seconds, still looking good, passing through Mach 5. In the two-minute mark, about 10 seconds remaining on the uh, airlet motors. We have burnout of the airlet motors. Standing by for jettison. We see jettison. Passing two minutes, 22 seconds. Altitude now 31.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 30.3 nautical miles, velocity 4,202 miles per hour. Two minutes, 35 seconds in. Pressure holding very well in the main engine and in both verniers as we're passing two minutes and 45 seconds. Looking down very nicely, very smooth ride. Coming up on two minutes, 55 seconds, passing through Mach 10. 
three minutes in. Altitude now 42.0 nautical miles, downrange distance 72.4 nautical miles, velocity 5,794 miles per hour. Data coming in through Santa Inez Peak, north of Santa Barbara. Three minutes, fifteen seconds, a little over one minute remaining in first stage flight. Chamber pressure continuing to hold very well in the main engine and in both verniers. Pitch and yaw control in the main engine very good, very steady, and vernier engine pitch and yaw control looking good in both vernier engines. Passing three minutes, thirty-three seconds. Point Magoo Three minutes, and forty seconds. Nicholas Island now with data. Now fifty-one point nine nautical miles. Downrange distance one hundred thirty-five point three nautical miles. Velocity eighty-two hundred twenty miles per hour. Passing uh, three minutes fifty-three seconds in. About half a minute now remaining on first stage flight. Passing four minutes in. Altitude now 57.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 179 nautical miles, velocity 10,092 miles per hour. Heading by from Miko about 10 seconds from now. We have Miko standing by for Vico. And we have Vico, the Verniers of Cutoff, standing by for one, two stage step. And we have stage separation. We have ignition on the second stage, second stage chamber pressure rising. And we have fairing separation. Fairing has separated from the launch vehicle successfully, four minutes, 50 seconds in. Altitude now 74.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 316 nautical miles, velocity 12,120 miles per hour. Passing the five-minute mark. First uh, burn of the second stage this evening should last a little over five minutes and 45 seconds. Now five minutes, 15 seconds in. Second stage, uh, chamber pressure right where we want it to be. Very steady burn. Stable uh, pitch and yaw control in the second stage. One minute into the burn right now. Looking good. Smooth ride. Coming up on six minutes. Mark, six minutes into the flight. Altitude now 91 nautical miles. Downrange distance 516 nautical miles. Velocity 12,820 miles per hour. Second stage will cut off 10 minutes, 23 seconds into flight. We're at now 6 minutes, 16 seconds into the mission. I think 6 minutes, 22 seconds. Almost two minutes into the burn. Command receiver decoders have uh, turned off. Six minutes, 45 seconds in. Altitude now 96.3 nautical miles. Now, 7 minutes, 15 seconds in altitude, 99.6 nautical miles, downrange distance, 735 nautical miles, velocity, 13,714 miles per hour. 7 minutes, 25 seconds in. Stage uh, chamber pressure continues to hold. Good chamber pressure in the second stage. Good control in the second stage, pitch and yaw. Now 
on TDRS data. The two minutes, 20 seconds now, remaining in this uh, first burn of the second stage. So passing eight minutes, 15 seconds. Downrange distance now 954 nautical miles, velocity 14,669 miles per hour. Passing now 8 minutes and 45 seconds in. Second stage uh, chamber pressure holding rock solid. Yeah, well, uh, one seven, uh, one five. Uh, you turn your uh, uh, flight recorders off. Did a good job. Passing nine minutes. Do now one hundred and one point five nautical miles. Downrange distance eleven hundred eighteen nautical miles. Velocity fifteen thousand five hundred twenty-three miles per hour. Minute seven seconds remaining in the first burn. Our first stage events, so very close to the expected times as we're passing 9 minutes 30 seconds. You can see that the uh, second stage chamber pressure now beginning to decline slightly as expected. Forty seconds remaining in the burn. Stage uh, pitch and yaw control uh, very good at this time. Chamber pressure is continuing to drop off or trail off as we're passing 10 minutes. Mark 10 minutes in, altitude 100.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,321 nautical miles, velocity 16,578 miles per hour. We're standing by for SECO about 10 seconds from now. And we have SECO. Hydraulic system pressure is dropping and pumps off. Coming up uh, 10 minutes, 55 seconds in. Altitude 100 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,533 nautical miles, velocity 17,090 miles per hour. This is Delta Launch Control. Our coast phase now will last about 42 minutes and 18 seconds. And then at 52 minutes, 5 seconds into the mission, we will restart the second stage. That will take us uh, to our spacecraft separation for NPP. The uh, Second stage, uh, second burn is uh, only uh, a matter of uh, seconds, like 21 seconds or so. And then our NPP spacecraft separation occurs at 58 minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. So at this point with the second stage and coast, there is uh, no data coming in. But uh, once the second stage begins to reorient for that second burn, we should be able to 
get some data indicating that the second stage is getting ready to restart. We're now 13 minutes, 13 seconds into the flight of the Delta II with NPP. While we're in the coast phase, we're going to look now at some launch replays from of our different uh, camera angles at liftoff. These are the launch plays from just uh, moments ago.